Hello, welcome to the class. This is your teacher, Eric. Es un gusto estar con ustedes. Vamos a esperar unos minutitos para que se puedan ingresar los demás compañeros, ¿ok? Cualquier cosa, acá estoy ya. Falta que entren varios, ¿verdad? ¿Saben si los demás compañeros sabían que ahora iniciamos las clases? De casualidad. Ah, pero ahorita están entrando. Vamos a esperar solo un par de minutos más. ¿eh? Sí, creo que se tardan en entrar, pero sí está bien. Ah, ok, perfecto, no hay problema. Sí, quisiera que estuvieran la mayoría para empezar ya, pues, presentarnos. Perfecto. Vamos a esperar solo un par de minutos más. Hello, hello. Hello, welcome to the class. My name is oh, Eric. Thank you. And I will be your teacher. Estamos esperando solo unos minutitos para que la mayoría de compañeros estén ya ingresados y luego vamos a iniciar, ¿ok? Ok, it's fine. Very good. Welcome to the class, everybody. Thank you, teacher.
Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. My name is Eric Asensio. I live in Santa Ana, and I have been a teacher for a long time right now. I have a lot of experience. I've been teaching to kids, to teenagers, to adults, and I've been uh, working for Insafor for around five years now. So it's a pleasure. Uh, I know that you are in advance, so we're going to speak only in English. That is a very good thing. And uh, I want to ask you, uh, do you have access to the, to the WhatsApp group already? Everybody has access to that? Or anybody doesn't have access to the WhatsApp group? Yes, I have already uh, the contact in WhatsApp oh. group. Oh, perfect. Everybody has the access to the WhatsApp group. So no problem there. Okay, good. The second question I have for you is if you have access to the platform already. Everybody can access to the platform and do you see the English class group there? Todos tienen acceso a la plataforma, todos pueden ver, o sea, son dos cosas diferentes. Yes. Una cosa es poder ingresar a la plataforma, esa es la primera pregunta. Y la segunda es si ustedes ingresan, si pueden ver el grupo, el grupo de inglés ahí. Entonces... ¿Cómo vamos con eso? What do you mean with group? Be able to see in the group. I can see in the all the, the labs, uh, the, the homework, the video conference. Uh, exactly. But I, I cannot understand what do you yeah. mean with uh, the group. If I can, if, if I am able to see the group. Uh, yes, actually, that is the question. If you are able to see uh, the homeworks and the videos, well, the videos are the ones that we're going to record, but uh, the homeworks and the advanced number three, do you see that? Or uh, does anybody have a problem with that? Anybody has a problem with accessing the platform and seeing uh, that one? I'm asking you that one because sometimes uh, when we start the classes, some people, they don't have access to the platform and we need to report that. And some other people, they have access to the platform, but uh, they are not able to see uh, their homeworks and everything there. So everybody here have the access already for both? In my case, I don't, I don't prove the platform. Usted no tiene acceso a la, a la plataforma. No, 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 eh, no he probado. Ah, you haven't tried. Yes. Ah, okay. I Perfect. don't, I don't try. <laughs> ah, okay. Eh, ¿Alguien más que no haya probado todavía, que no sabe si tiene acceso? Very good. Entonces, los que no han probado, me hacen el favor, please do me a favor and check. Check if you have access to the platform. And then uh, if you okay. cannot access to the platform in the group, uh, you can ask me, okay? You can tell me, oh, this is, my name is this and I don't have access to the platform. And I will be... I will be checking, I will report. Remember that for you to access the platform, you need to enter the email that you use to, uh, to uh, the one that you use for your work or the one that you provided, right? So that will be it. That is a very important thing. Okay, as I was telling you, I uh, have been a teacher for a long time. Uh, actually, I'm not a teacher by now. I work for Google. So if you want to speak about technology or many other things, it will be a pleasure. Actually, we're going to see some of those things here. And also, um, it's very, very, very important that if you have questions, let me know, okay? Any questions that you might have, uh, you can ask me in the class. And you just 
uh, raise your hand or interrupt me and I will answer the questions or uh, in the chat, in the group chat, or also in the uh, in my WhatsApp. You can uh, ask with me directly, okay? Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, thank you, teacher. Very well, so that is very important because remember that we need to, sometimes uh, there is some grammar, advanced grammar that is, uh, not the same as Spanish. So we need to be careful on that one and then we need to to understand very well. Also, another thing that I do a lot is that I want you to speak. So yes, I'm going to, I'm going to explain some grammar and we're going to read so many things. I really like to read things and also we can discuss, we can discuss interesting topics. Uh, so, and if you want to speak about anything, uh, also you can interrupt me or you can tell me your opinion. So it's very important that you try to speak. Don't remember, don't worry if you uh, have a mistake. Remember that we are learning and that is not a problem, okay? So if you do some mistakes, I will correct you and uh, we are going to learn, okay? Okay, teacher. Thank Very you. Well. I understand. Oh, it's a pleasure. Another thing that we're going to do is that we're going to do a homework every every Friday. Okay. Um, we're going to check what kind of homework we're going to have depending on on the topic that we have. The most of the time, the homework is going to be, uh, let's say that you are going to present something you are going to discuss about something or you are going to two or three new words new vocabulary words okay that is very important. So do you have questions about the homework? I've already done one. Uh, I was trying, I was playing with the platform and I have, I've tried to, to make one. One day, uh, that you have already put on the platform. Uh, which one? I, I just don't get what you say. Something with um, uh, infinitive verbs. Uh, yeah, the infinitive, yeah. Actually, that is the topic that we have for tonight. But you say that there is a homework mm -hmm. already there? Yes, I, I have already done it. So you Teacher, say that you are in mute. Ah, yeah, I was checking on that one. Okay. You can hear me right now, right? Yes. Right, teacher. Very well. Perfect. So, uh, yes, that is the homework. Every every time that we finish the classes, we're going to uh, do the homework. So that is another thing that is a very important. Okay? So, for example, we're going to actually, we're going to check into that one. Hold on a second. I'm going to show you. Let me just check that. Okay, I'm going to show you the platform that is first thing that we're going to check right here. Okay, this is the platform, right? Yes. So what we're going to do, uh, well, right now we are in the section number one. And this, uh, the first video, I mean, this is the one that we are recording right now. So, and tonight, when we finish the class, after we finish the class, we're going to do the homework. Oh, yeah, this is one. Yeah, that is the one. Yeah. So yeah. you just need to come here and click on into those ones, and then you are going to be able to just send it here. So that is it. So every time that we finish, we're going to do the homework. So this is something that we need to do tonight, okay? 
So this is the okay. class of tomorrow, and then tomorrow we're going to do this other homework. It's a little bit different. I know that you know that if we go to the section number two, for example, you are going to see that there are more classes, right? So we have two classes and a homework. So for the section two, uh, first we are going to do the, the class only and no homework. And then on the other one, yes, we do the class and there is the homework. So that will be it. Do you have any questions about that? No question, teacher. Thank Very you. Very well. Perfect. It's a pleasure. So, and now we're going to check about this little thing. Let's see here. Okay. Let me just check here. So, this is uh, the one for tonight. As I was telling you, my name is Eric Asensio. And uh, remember that for these classes, you need to have 80%. Uh, on average for the homeworks, that is a very important thing, okay? Uh, for the homeworks, for the tests, everything is important here. The homeworks, as we checked already in the platform, are there. So after every class, we need to check into that one. Then uh, also, all whenever we finish the class, you need to do the homework, right? And uh, we have to finish the midterm test by the 2nd of June. That is something very important. And uh, the last day of the class is going to be the 16th. And that day is the last day for us to finish the, the final test. The manual, the, the class manual is already in the chat. I sent it today. Okay. So, um, and of course, we're going to check that here on the class as well. What else do we need to do? So uh, remember that we need to show the whole name in the platform. That is a very important part. Uh, I guess we don't have any listener here, so we don't have to worry about the second one. Uh, we need to have the camera on all the time. That is an insufficient requirement. So please try to do that one, okay? I know that uh, sometimes we are, uh, in other classes, sometimes people are driving home so if that is the case, not a problem. But it's very important if you have a meeting, if you have something to do uh, to connect to the class. That is a very important thing. Even if you cannot participate in the class, uh, please connect to the class. Just let me know in the chat uh, tonight, I'm driving home or I will be busy uh, the first hour, but it's very important that you connect to the class, okay? And also, if you are not speaking, it's very important for you to mute the class. That is another thing that is very important. And also uh, that you participate, that you participate uh, um, in the class. That is uh, very, very important. Uh, I see, for example, Anna Salmi, she was with me before, so she knows that we speak a lot here, right? So this is very, very important. <laughs> very well. And uh, uh, yeah, we need to be in the class 100%, right? So that is very, very important. As I was telling you, if you are busy, I totally understand that sometimes you are busy. So connect to the class. That is very important. And let me know that you are busy. So I know that you are not going to be able to participate in the class. And also, uh, ESA form also records how many minutes you were in the class. So that's why I was telling you that it's very important for you to join the class. Um, we are going to take the um, attendance twice during the class, once at the beginning of the class and the other one at the end of the class. Okay, you just have to say present or here or anything like that. At the end of the classes, of course, we are going to have one on -one. You have experience on that one, right? So we're going to have one on one so you can participate. And if you have questions about the classes or any topic, so you can tell me and we are going to check into that one, okay? The last one is a very important one. There are no permissions. And that is something from Insafor, okay? So Insafor does not allow permissions. That's why I was telling you that I understand. I understand that sometimes you're very sick or if you have to work very late, that is something 
that I totally understand. So, but what you need to do is to connect to the class. That is very, very important, okay? Do you have any questions? Nope. Good, perfect. As we say that before, the mute button is very important. Also the camera that, that has to be on. The chat, if you want to ask something or to provide any comments, the chat as well. Sometimes we're gonna use the break uh, rooms. I don't use that that much, to be honest with you. Uh, you can raise the hand and I can give you the words so you can continue and, and tell me anything or ask a question. Respect is very important. So if anybody has a different opinion, we're going to respect that one. The most important here is the English. You can participate, you can tell whatsoever you want, right? And everybody's going to, is going to tell you, uh, is going to respect what you have to, to tell. That is very important. Okay, so this is uh, the uh, first class that we're going to be. I mean, I know that some of you were with me before, but now uh, the important part comes to the introduction. As I was telling you, my name is Eric Asensio. I live in Santa Ana. I work for Google and I really enjoy to teach. So that's why I'm here because teaching for me is very important. So sometimes I'm very, very tired, but this is like relaxing for me. It's like meeting with new people, provide feedback, uh, speak about many things. So that is something that I really enjoy. So that's why I'm here. Uh, I like music a lot. I play in a band as well on Saturdays. I uh, like to go out in my motorbike. I I like to read a lot. I like to uh, to research and learn new things. Uh, and uh, it's a pleasure to be here with you. So now is your turn. You are going to introduce yourself. The question is, who wants to be the first one? Uh -huh. Okay. Good. I can Hello, be everybody. the first one. Okay, I, I will be the second one. Okay, perfect, okay. perfect. Thank you. Hi, everybody. It's nice to see many people. I know. My name is Susana Hernandez. I'm living in Delgado City in San Salvador. I work in Pi Laboratories. I really like the music. I love to watch TV. I like read. And I am very happy is here again. Yeah, it's nice to see you again. Very well. Welcome back, Susana. How are you? Very good. Thank Perfect. you. Perfect. <laughs> very well. Now we're going to uh, listen to Maybe. Okay. Hello, everybody. I am Maybe de Calderon. I, I used to live here in San Salvador. Or, and I come, I am Salvadorian, but uh, originally I come from Venezuela. And uh, I've been in El, in El Salvador since 36 years. My husband is Salvadorian and I have met him in Germany. And it is a pleasure to share with you this course. And I hope that we are going to, to have fun every class. I am not, I am not uh, uh, used to to attend classes in this time of the uh, of the evening, but I hope that with Eric, every it will be fun to do it. <laughs> ah, definitely. The ones that are with me, some people here they were with me a few months ago, and they know that uh, I really like to speak a lot. And I mean, not only the class. I know I know that the class is very important, the topics, but sometimes we speak about life about many other things. So that is very important because English is uh, for you to communicate, right? So we can speak about many things. Very good. Thank you and very interesting uh, that you come from Venezuela. Perfect. Who wants to be the next one? Me, teacher. Very good, okay. Manuel. Uh, Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Uh, nice to meet you, teacher, and the, all the rest of, of my uh, classmates. Mm -hmm. uh, my, my name is Manuel Palma. Uh, I live in San Salvador. 
my my hobby is uh, riding my motorcycle and also uh, i play soccer not very well but <laughs> i like it <laughs> uh, also i i like to read and uh, and oh, then i i i hope we enjoy this opportunity to to learn more learning more and uh, let me let me tell you uh, i continue i continue uh, in this in this model uh, also well it's good to be uh, with you and the uh, other classmates and nice to meet you nice to meet you welcome okay. to the class manuel what kind of it's, motorbike do you have let me ask you uh, it's a um 150 motor <laughs> it's a it's a normal it's a little <laughs> okay is it's, that your first motorbike uh, no, I I have many motorbikes. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes, seventeen years uh, uh, driving, uh, riding motorcycle. That is amazing. You know, <laughs> I I always wanted to ride a motorbike, and I bought my first motorbike like three years ago, and now okay. I have my second one. It's a Kiwi. I'm very. I mean, that is something very very good. It's dangerous, but it's good. I really like it. Uh, it uh, it's a risk, but it's a, it's a funny joy. For me, it's, it's, it's fantastic to ride a motorcycle. <laughs> so true. Yeah. It's it doesn't matter if if it is uh, dangerous. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. Right? <laughs> Have you ever had an accident or anything like that? Uh, a few little accidents, yes. Okay. Be careful on that. <laughs> yeah, thank you. You too. Perfect. Thank you. Who wants to be the next one? Me, teacher. Good. Okay. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, everybody. My name is Wendy Zabaleta. I live in Santa Ana, too. <laughs> neighbor. Neighbor. <laughs> yeah, we're neighbors. Yeah. Uh, I am. Um, 41 years old. I am single. I am Christian. I work in a travel agency. My favorite hobby is visit, visit my brother and my and his children. <laughs> it's my favorite hobby. Um, okay. I live in, with my parents. Uh, I have a, I have a, I have a pet. <laughs> uh, its name is people. His name is people. It's a dog. It's oh. a dog. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Very good. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Wendy. Uh, let me ask you, you say that you work for a travel agency, right? What is the most popular country where people want to go? United States. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yes. A specific <laughs> city is Los Angeles. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I guess everybody has some relatives yeah. there, so they want to go there. <laughs> Perfect, thank you very much. Who wants to be the next one? Hey, teacher, can you listen? Of course. Okay, good evening. Good evening. It's, it's a pleasure to be here again. And my name is Rosalena Salgado. Mm -hmm. I live in... La Gloria, San Salvador. I work at a JM Telecom, an inventory analyst. And um, I have, I think that I'm a, they, those are my hobbies. Uh, watch TV, listen to music, and sit at home, rest all the time. The time that I can, I, I take a rest because I love Stay at home. Um, I like uh, I like to I like to oh my god 
I like to be here and I hope uh, this module we can learn much, much about uh, all the topics that are we talking about. Definitely. It's nice to see you again, Rose, and uh, okay, welcome back. <laughs> Perfect. Very nice. Thanks. Nice to see a lot of people that I I had before. Um, who wants to be the next one? Me, teacher. Okay. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Um, it's a pleasure for me to see the, uh, the old classmate <laughs> and for the new classmate, welcome for this group. Uh, I am auditor and uh, my hobbies are, I like to run, walk in the park, um, enjoy it, teaching and learning. Because um, in general, uh, I enjoyed my life, <laughs> my stress, stress. <laughs> Stress teacher life? Yes. Stressing stress, life? Stress, stress life. life. Yes. I, I will be in Stress. I am happy because um, I am again with you. Thanks. Yeah. I, when I saw, you know, when I saw the list of all the attendees, I said, oh my goodness, we're back again here. So, you know, the way that is. So maybe the difference is that here we're going to speak a little bit faster, right? We're going to to do some other things and uh, some analysis, uh, but I mean- This is idea, teacher. <laughs> yeah, the idea is to speak faster, more fluent, and to understand a little bit better. So participate, that is very important. <laughs> Good, perfect, thank you. Who wants to be the next one, man? Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Uh, okay, so let's go with Carla and then with Ada. Uh, hello, good evening. My name is Carla Vázquez. I live in Zaragoza, La Libertad. And I am happy to start again. It was a time long waiting for this course. But we have finally started again. And I like that a lot. I see familiar face and some new ones. It is a pleasure to share class with, with all of you. I hope I hope we enjoy and learn a lot of different this room. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Caroline. Nice to see you again. How long have you waited for this module? I don't know. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, I, I was asking you, how long have you waited for this to okay, like, like Like around five months. Three months. Three months. No, five. Five, five more. Yeah. Ah, yes, fine, December. Five. Yeah, it was, we, 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 it was the, the last class. We quit yes. on, on December. So we exactly. need to wait. We, we are in May, right, English. Right, May <laughs> right now. So no. we, already, we wait almost like five months to get to start this course. It was a lot of time. And we asked so many questions to the um, yeah to the uh, to the guys who has uh, <laughs> the information and everything, and they, they didn't answer. We were asking, like, oh, my God, well. Finally, we get it. <laughs> okay. Well, the good thing is that we're back in business, right? So, uh, yeah, exactly. sometimes that happens. So I really apologize for that one. Sometimes what happens is that we are just a few teachers uh, and there are a lot of people. And sometimes the group, sometimes we have like five, seven people. So we have to complete with other people, right? Because our requirement from InsoForp is that we have to have at least 20 people. Sometimes it's, they make some exactly. Exceptions. Uh, but sometimes it's really difficult. But the good yeah. thing is that we're here, right? That's the, that was the answer that we received. Yeah, that's that's what happened. That what happened. Because for example, me, I, I was I finish and I start, finish and start. I, I I never stopped. But that is the reason why there are just a few uh teachers and also uh, we need to have at least 20 people in the group. So but we're here. That's the good thing. Good. Now who wants to be the next one? Ada would say, right? Good evening. Good evening. Um, my name is Ada Patricia Linares. Uh, I live in San Salvador. Excuse me. I remember this. <laughs> Hello. Okay. 
this is like, uh, like, like the radio, right? Like. Yes. Uh, I live in San Salvador with my sister and my new kids. Um, I like, um, I listen to music and watch TV. Uh, I have um, pets. I love very much the pets. And after a long time, it's a pleasure to have you a t-shirt again, t-shirt. Yeah, it's That's been it. a long time, right? You are so yes. been maybe too much, but it's good to see you again. The sad part is that you are in advance three, so after advance six, of course, we are not going to see each other, but let's see what happens, right? Sometimes, we, you know, that we're together two or three months, sometimes it's just one month. Let's see how it goes. Very good. And nice to see you again, Ada. Hello, teacher. Hello, Gloria. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, I did the second model with you, yeah. and I intend to uh, speak a little more English. Uh, my name is Gloria Linares. Uh, I live in San Salvador. I work in the company that the dedicate uh, to electric uh, electrical energy. My hobbies is basketball, and I enjoy I enjoy camping. camping. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you again. Yes. When you go camping, where do you go? Where what places do you recommend for me to go camping? Uh, it's Chalatenango. Chalatenango. Uh, Yes, uh, Las Pilas, San Ignacio, the mountain. Okay, very good. So, yeah, I'm planning to go there, but maybe after the rains, because these days sometimes it's not good. No, um, the carpet uh, is, um, come on, let it go. Uh, bueno, hay tiendas that's special. <laughs> ah, okay, so there are some special tiendas yes. for that one. Nice. Yes. Yes. Very good, perfect. Thank you. Welcome back, Gloria. Okay, thank you. Okay, who wants to be the next one? We still have a few. Me, teacher. Hi. Excuse me. Me, sir. Thank you. My name is Maria Elena, and I am a nutritionist. I work for Educo. I'm living in San Salvador, but my work is in San Vicente. I, for the moment, <laughs> enjoy watching movies and TV shows, but for the moment, I don't have a passport um, because I have an accident in my family is broken um maybe can uh other operation but it's good i can move you <laughs> oh my goodness but okay so what kind of accident do you have it was a car accident or something like that uh in a motorcycle <laughs> ah motorcycle yeah i <laughs> i love the motorcycle but for the moment the doctor say no, no more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're dangerous. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes, even when you are careful, sometimes if you find water or if you find uh, sand on the street, I mean, that makes it difficult. But I hope you recover very well and everything goes well. Thank you. Very well. Uh, Walter, you were going to be the next one, right? Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello, good evening, everybody. My name is Walter Mauricio Morales. I work in the company John Gones CNCB. I live in the city of Puerta. And my hobby are, are watching the soccer, uh, playing soccer. And I like to be staying into music the other school. Uh, okay. I loved the seafood. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I love in the soccer teacher. 
Ah, yeah, remember soccer, yeah. Yeah, yes. So, so you're watching the match. Uh, so I remember that you were from Real Madrid, right? Yeah, yeah, teacher. <laughs> so Wednesday you are going to watch the match. Yes. Yeah, let's see how it goes, right? It's going to be a very good match. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. I remember, I remember. Okay, teacher. teacher. Go, okay. go ahead, I'm sorry. I remember in other Mondre. And do you uh, and intermedio, intermedio, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and four or three level? Do you student for me? Yeah, yeah. No, yes. Okay. Yeah, we were there. <laughs> we were there. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Welcome back, Susana. Hello, good evening. Um, uh, my name is Susana Ortiz. Uh, I am I am accounting. Uh, my I like to walk uh, in the park. Uh, I get to know food uh, place uh, that can see uh I know a TikTok. <laughs> 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 um I I like to music, listen to music. Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh, that. Very good. <laughs> what kind of music do you listen to? Um salsa and romantic oh. music. Mm -hmm. So you like to dance then? Yes. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> Very well. Perfect. Welcome to the class then. Okay, thank you. Perfect. Who's missing? Let me ask you. He's missing Edwin, I guess. Yeah. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Yeah, it, was, it was nice to meet you. Your name is Eric, right? My name is Eric. All right. My name is Edwin. So um, yeah, um, I work as a bodyguard and uh, a driver too, as a driver too. And actually, my favorite sport is um, is soccer. It, uh, and my favorite thing is Barcelona. So it means that water is my enemy. No, I just play water. <laughs> you know, my friend. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I like to get along with everybody. I like English. We wait a lot of time to get here because we we were like 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 that. I said before. I don't know if you remember. That we wait a, 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 a lot of time to be in this course, but now we're back in business, like as you say, you know, a few, few, few seconds ago. And like we are here to learn more, and, and yeah, that, that's it. Very that's good. all for me. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Welcome to the class, Edwin. Pleasure. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Okay. And it's missing just one person, but it doesn't show the name. It only says iPhone. So I don't know who you are, but it's your turn. Hello. Yeah, it's just one person missing, but I don't know the name. Okay, anyways. Probably the gold. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, it, it only shows us iPhone. So I, that's why it's very important to show the name, you know. Um, and I, 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 I didn't. Ah, here she comes. Hello, it's your turn. Uh, we can hear you. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Yeah. My name is Alejandra. I am 22 years years old. Um, I uh, I work uh, as a receptionist in a condominium in San Salvador. Uh, buenas noches. And my hobby is cook with my mom. Um, I love the dogs. I have three, three dogs. Three dogs. Uh, yes. <laughs> um, I do study um, 
uh, social work in the university okay. and and I like and I like listening to music and and it's all okay perfect welcome nice uh, to meet you nice to meet you if possible please uh, enter your name then in the uh, in the platform because it only shows an iPhone but uh, that is something that you can do. Just enter your name and that's it, okay? Oh, okay. okay. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Sylvia. Good evening. Good evening. Um, my name is Sylvia Suleima. I am, I am live in Chachapa. And I work in a... a a financial company in Santa Ana. And my ho hobby is read. What kind of books do you read? Um, of suppression. Okay, very good. Interesting. Perfect. Thank you very much. And welcome, everybody, to the class. So we're back in business. So let's check the attendance. Okay. Um, Ada, Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Good. For you is the 101 of tonight, okay? So, Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Not here. Alejandra Michelle Hueso Najera. Present. Okay. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erasu. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Okay. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Good. Maybe Coromoto García de Calderón. Here. Good. Manuel Antonio Palma. Present teacher. Good. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Present. Good. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Good. Silvia Zuleima Rodríguez de González. Present. Good. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present. Very good. Perfect. So, let's go back to the English then. Uh, before we continue, uh, let me tell you that uh, now uh, I'm traveling from San Salvador to Santa Ana. So, sometimes, because of the traffic, it's possible that I will be driving, so you won't be able to see me there on the on the screen, and that is the reason why. Okay, most likely I'm going to be here uh, at home around eight or eight ten. So I don't think it's going to be very often that you won't see me, but we are going to be in the class, so that won't be any problem. Okay, just for you, uh, in case you don't see me there, I have everything here settled, so uh, everything is going to be normal. The only thing is that maybe you won't see me there sometime. Okay. You know, life is difficult. So I finish at six and I come here at eight. That's the way it is. So let's check the class of tonight. So verbs followed by infinitive. This is a review. But anyways, we're going to do a, a nice review. So uh, many verbs in English are followed by the infinitive with two. So the first question is that do you remember what is an infinitive? A verb without conjugation. A simple. That is it, right? So the infinitive is when you use the base form of the verb. Base form. And to. To go. Mm -hmm. To be. The base form. Very good. So, uh, the first slide is going to be for Wendy. Could you please help me reading that? Uh, 
Excuse me, teacher. Uh, yeah, could you please help me reading the first slide? Read. Yeah. Uh, the one or the two? Uh, all of it, please. Oh, many birds. Yeah. Many birds in English are followed by the infinitive with two. Some of these birds take the pattern. 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 What? Those. What's infinitive? Please continue. Bear, bear two, bear, blast two, blast infinity. We plan, plan to take a holiday. She decides to stay at home. Older birds take the, what's the pronunciation? Pattern. 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 Bear, blast noun. Plus two, plus infinity. Uh, I don't see the last part. Uh, you need to move uh, the screen because I'm in full screen, so I'm not able to move it. Okay, okay. Um, okay. <laughs> she wanted the children to learn the piano. I told him to write... No, to ring the poet. Very good, perfect, thank you, Wendy. So this is it. So uh, there are different structures, there are different rules for the infinitive. So verb plus two plus the infinitive, that is the most common. For example, we plan to take a holiday. So remember that the tense of the verb is going to be given by the first uh, verb. So in this case, we plan, that is past. So that is going to be a simple past sentence. And we use two verbs. We plan to take. To take is the infinitive. Okay. She decided to stay at home. Again, decided is the main verb. And to stay is the complementary verb. Okay. Do you have any questions for the first part? No questions. Clear as or chat as we say. Other verbs take the pattern verb plus noun plus two plus the infinitive. So in this one, the only difference is that we are going to add a noun. For example, she wanted, that is the verb, the children, that is the noun, to learn, that is the infinitive, the piano. That will be it. Or I told him to ring the police. So I told, told is the first verb, him is the noun, to ring is the second verb. So that will be it. Do you guys have any question about this? Questions about, these are two different uses of the infinitive. Questions. No questions. Okay. Uh, I see that some of you are writing, so I'm going to wait for you to finish, and then we're going to move on. So we're going to do a little exercise, okay? So let's see how it goes. We're going to write two sentences with the first form, verb, two, and infinitive, and two sentences with the second form, verb, noun, two, and infinitive. So in total, four sentences, okay? And then we're going to share. Any questions with the activity? Yes, sure. Uh -huh. The sentence. Uh -huh. uh, yes, yeah, sentences. What? You are going to write two sentences write with two verb. Two sentences. Uh, wait. 
There are four sentences in total. The first two oh. sentences is verb to infinitive. And the other two is verb noun to infinitive. So two and two. Okay. Good. I'm going to give you a few minutes for you to check into that one, okay? I'm going to leave there the examples. Have you finished or do you need more time? Okay, let's check. Uh, let's listen first to my bed. Okay. okay. I will be able to afford a long time trip to Europe next year. Very good. I agree with you to eat Chinese. Very good. Uh, more? I learned to practice sport very early in the morning. Okay. And I have to take my medicine twice a day. Very good. Perfect. Thank you very much. So uh, Let's check now with uh, Wendy. Not yet. Not yet? Okay. Uh, Not yet. Walter. Okay, teacher. We decided to travel to Europa. Europe. Europe. <laughs> Excuse me. He no, the, he'd prefer to travel to Africa. Okay. He preferred to travel to Africa. Okay. Only two, okay? Good. Yes. Now, let's see with uh, Ada. 
um, she was to try to, to work okay. and he arrived too late to the meeting. Okay, very good. Only. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Sylvia. No yet, teacher. Okay. Carla Vasquez. This soup is too hot to eat. Okay. It is impossible to open the door. Okay. It is easy to play basketball. Okay. They exercise uh, are easy to do. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, Rose. Um, I want to buy a to buy a house. Okay. Um, they decide to take a plane. Okay. Um, with the second one, I told my mom to bring the coffee. Okay. Yeah. It's yeah. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. I told my mom to bring the coffee. And only that. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. Okay. Um, Susana, Carolina. I wanted to go with the doctor this morning. Okay. The second, to learn English, my brother to bought a book. My brother have to buy a book, maybe. My brother, how do have, you say? Have to buy a book. Or something like that. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, Susana Beatriz. Okay. And she worked to have a good retirement. Okay. And his son, his son to win the, how do you say, premium? <laughs> to a word. To a world. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you. Edwin. Um, I decided to go to the movie theaters. Okay. Uh, I expect to learn French this year. Okay, very good. Nice. Hey, Anna, tell me. Okay, teacher. I walk, I walk to change my health condition. Okay. And I work with my co-worker to take our vacation. Mm -hmm. I visit to the doctor to take care of my health. Okay, very good. Nice. Who's missing? Maria Elena. Uh, yes. Um, she wants to learn something new. Um, mm -hmm. They decide uh, to travel to Germany, um, he encouraged his brother to pursue um, his dreams, and she advised friends to take a break and relax. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. Uh, Gloria. Uh, he arrived too late uh, <laughs> to see the parent. Okay. And I needed you to come help me. Only. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you. Manuel Antonio. Okay, teacher. Uh, they, mentioned, they mentioned you to follow the instructions. Okay. She wanted the farmer to cut the grass. Okay. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Alejandra Michelle. Uh, we cannot hear you right now. Is she read the a book in the park? Okay. Um, my dog eat is a. Uh, Eat an apple. Okay, eat an apple, huh? Okay. Okay, thank you. Sylvia, 
It's your turn. Okay. I want to read a book. Okay. My daughter had to go to the park. Okay. And my mother visit the doctor to revise her eyes. Okay. And I cook the diner to my family. Okay, very well. Perfect. Thank you. And Wendy. Mm, I don't understand the term because I try. I plan to take vacations. That is correct. I decide to go at my brother's house. Okay. And the other part, I don't understand. The other part is like this. Verb. Noun. You know what is a noun? Do you noun remember? is a num number of... No, a noun is the name of something. For example, <laughs> Michael, Michael is a noun. Chair is a noun. Car is a noun. So, for example, she wanted the children. The children is a noun to learn the piano. So the difference between the first one and the second one is that in the first one, we don't use a noun. We use only verb, to, and the infinitive. And in the second one, we use the verb, a noun, meaning the name of anything, to, and the infinitive. So in the example, you can see she wanted. Wanted is the verb. The children is the noun. So the noun it can be the table, my husband, Carlos, any noun. And then the infinitive, to and a verb. That will be it. That's the only thing. Do you get it this time? Infinitive, what, what is in, infinitive? Infinitive is to go, to be, to see. Oh. That is the infinitive, yeah. Oh, okay. So is it clear right now? Yes. Oh, very well. Yeah, if you don't understand anything, you can ask me. Right? Can you please explain in different ways? And of course, I'm going to do it. Okay. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Walter, could you please help me read in this slide? Okay, teacher. Two very common verbs, a may and okay. let, are following me. By the inf by, by the infinity without to take uh, take the partner bear more and no more infinity. Uh, my uh, part that would be ver plus noun. Ver noun. Okay. Ver plus. The word is plus. Okay. My parent made me come home early. They will let me stay of later. We bear there can be followed by the infinity with or without two. Bear to infinity. I didn't dare to go out after that. Okay, very good. So this, my friends, are special rules, okay? So, with the verb make and the verb lay, uh, let, we are going to use the infinitive without to, so we don't use to. That is the first thing. So, for example, my parents made me come, not to come. It's not possible to say my parents made me to come. No, my parents made me Come home early. The same happens with let. They wouldn't let me stay, not to stay. Stay out late. So this is a special rule that is going to come only with make and let. Okay. Do you have any question about the first part? 
So the problem with this one is that when you are speaking, you need to remember that one, right? Let me start. Okay. Questions about the first part? And in the English language, we have only these two exceptions, make and let. Mm. I am not going to find any uh, another one. Uh, these are the most common exceptions. There they are must some other but not that common. So, but this one, yes. Are okay. Very, very make the let. Yeah. Okay. Uh, actually, the other one is kind of an exception. So, for example, with the verb there, uh, you that can be used with or without to. It doesn't matter. Whatever you want. So, for example, I didn't dare to go out after that, or you can say. I didn't dare go out after dark. Either or is correct. Not a problem. Do you remember what is the meaning of dare in English, please? What is dare? To dare? Uh, being able to make something without uh, fear. Very good. To be brave, right? Brave. Like when like when you dare to go to English classes, and here we are, right? <laughs> <laughs> Good. So that is it. With dare, you can use to, or you cannot use it. It doesn't matter. It's going to be the same. Do you have questions about this? Questions. Remember that if you have questions, this is the moment for you to ask, okay? It's very important uh, that we understand. So when you are learning English, the first thing that you need to do is to understand and then to practice. But if you don't understand, it's not possible to move on, right? So if you don't understand anything, ask me, and I'm going to explain you in different ways, okay? Okay. Let's move on. So these are some other examples, right? So uh, let's see. Mm -mm. Carla, could you please help me reading this one? Some birds are followed by the infinitive with two. I decide to go home as soon as possible. We all wanted to have more English class. Common bird with this parent are birds are taken as feeling, choose, decide, expect, for, forget, forget, hope, intel. Yeah, that is Learn like. <laughs> yeah, it should be if you have to forget. <laughs> Uh, it's like this. Hate. Sorry. Okay. Thank you. Forget, hate, hope, intel, learn, like, love, mean, plan, prefer, remember, one, will, like, love. Very good. So all these words. It's going to be with the verb uh, infinitive with two. So I choose two. I decide two. I expect two to go, to jump, to whatever. I hate two. I hope to. I intend to. I learn to. I like to. I love to. I mean to. I plan to. I prefer to. I remember to. I want to. And I would like to or I would love to. All these verbs are going to be with to all the time. Okay? And it's very interesting what it says at the beginning. If you can see, verbs of thinking and feeling. So if you are going to use a verb that expresses thinking or feeling, remember that you always are going to use to. To and the verb. So, for example, I choose to learn English because it's easier than German. I decided to go to the beach. 
I expected to have the class on time. I forget to go to the, I don't know, to the store. I hate to speak in Spanish in English class. Whatever you want to say is going to be with to, okay? Questions about this part. I think that is missing, but need also. Yeah. I need to. Yeah. Need, yeah. Need is with to. I need to. Uh, the most common actually are those ones. I want to, I need to, and I want to. Those three, you know that it's going to be with two all the time. All right, let's move to the next one. Uh, let's see. Here, you send this verse to the group to chat? Of course, definitely. I will send that tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Okay, there are other verbs that express different things. Uh, also with two. So, Maria Elena, could you please help me read in this slide? Sorry? Yeah, could you please help me read in this slide? Oh, verb. Uh, we are not able to hear you. Yes. Okay. Verb. Of saying, agree from my. Oh, uh, that is together. I'm sorry. Let me just check it now because I'm... I agree from my with you. I'm sorry. Let me just go there. <laughs> it has to be agree, promise, promise, refuse, certain, certain. Others arrange, attempt, fail, help, uh, manage, tend, and try. Very good. So uh, these other verbs also, we're going to use two. Okay. So uh, let's check on that one. Anna Salmi, could you please tell me an example with agree? I agree with, I agree to, to plan the our class during the month very good i agreed to plan perfect that is it promise susana carolina hello yeah could you please tell me an example with promise okay i promise to love you forever thank you very much Okay, very good. That is it. So refuse. Do you remember what is refuse? Anybody? In English, of course. What is to refuse? To refuse? No accept. Not to accept. Very Not good. To accept. Okay, Manuel, could you please tell me an example with refuse? I refuse. Don't accept. Mm. Uh, ah, okay, okay, I'm sorry. Okay. I I refuse to play basketball. Very good. That's the one. I refuse to. Very nice. Uh, threaten. Uh, do you know what is threaten? Anybody? Yes. What is that in English? Mm. Threaten. Apologize? Mm, actually, no. it's the opposite of apologize. When you no. threat. Uh -huh. Written, it's, oh, I, I only can do say it in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll try in English. I know that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, an, an example for treating is when I say to you, I am going to say everybody that you are stealing that. that <laughs> I am treating you that I am going to do something. But are you treating me is always a, something bad that I am going to, to do or to say about someone. Very good. Perfect. You, you see that you were able to do it. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> the threatening is like that one. It's like when you say, I... 
uh, when you when you say something that is menacing to other people, right? Or, yes. Uh, something like that. Very good. So like, we're not going to do anything because you say an example. Others arrange. Uh, rose with a range. Oh my god, I oh my god, I arrange no I I can't I I can oh my god arrange I arrange hmm. No, teacher. Okay. No, no problem. I'm going to help you. So you can say, for example, I arranged to go with my family to the okay. vacations. Anything like that would be good. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Attempt. Uh, do you remember what is attempt? Try. Attempt to try. To try. Very good. Gloria, you're going to tell me an example with okay. attempt. <laughs> I attend to speak English. <laughs> I attend to speak English. I attend, I attend to, to, speak English. Right. to speak English. Very good. Perfect. Fail. What is fail? Do you guys remember? Mm. Fail. What is fail? Mm. No, those who like miss. Yeah, when you no. miss something, when you don't achieve something, right? Yeah. Mm hmm very good fail uh let's see um sylvia an example with fail oh. hello sylvia i fail to the exam i failed to finish the exam for example because okay. after two, there has to be an a verb, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. Help is very easy. Alejandra, Michelle. Not possible. Teacher, I have huh? a question Go related ahead. to the verb of help. Okay. Help and support is the same mean uh it's very similar yes yeah support is like more how can i say that uh, i mean it's like part of a task yeah. uh, it's something that you have to do i mean for example if somebody works in support i mean it's supposed that you have to do that one but help is something that you sometimes provide uh, even when you don't have to that's maybe the yes. main thing. Yes, because mm -hmm. in my job, frequently, I need to uh, ask for for, for. support. Uh huh. Yeah, that is support for uh -huh. the other country. In uh -huh. it. My question is: uh, when I express, could you help me about? this a voice for example or is right the could you support no it's help help is better or you can say better, yes. if you want to be very formal you can say could you please provide me support provide, provide me, me support provide me yes it's more formal yeah provide provide me support but you. help is is fine i mean that is for requesting is a very good way thank you teacher very good perfect uh let's see who uh, has to participate? Wendy, an example with help. Help? Help, yeah. Um, I try. I help to, I help to customers. Ah, but in that case, remember that I have to and a verb. What would be the verb? The so customer is not a verb. Uh, yeah. The thing here is that you have to say, I have two and a second verb. 
I mean, you can okay. say I have uh, customers. I, that is not the I have two customers to travel. Very good. That is a good example. I help the customers to travel. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Manage. Very easy. Walter, an example with manage. Manage. Ma manage. I like to manage the money in the house. Okay. That is good. But remember that by now you have to use two verbs. I manage to go. I manage to eat. I manage to anything. Oh, okay. I manage to the money in the house. I managed to save money in the house, for example. Okay. Okay, very good. Try, Carla. Ah, tent, sorry. Tent, tent. tent. Yeah. Do you know what is tent? Tent, that were from tendency. Tendency, very good. No, it's when yes, you... the the noun. Uh, well, the, no, the verb, huh? The verb. Yeah. Tendency. Very good. So, Carla, could you please provide an example with that? Ten. Ten. I don't know, teacher. Okay. Uh, a good example of this one Ten. could be something like this. I tend to be nervous in the interviews, for example. I tend to be nervous. Mm -hmm. That would well, be something. I, I tend to be, right? So Salvadorians tend to force a lot of things. <laughs> that is so true. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> good. And now try. Uh, let's see. Uh, Susana Beatriz. Try an example with try. I I try um I try <laughs> and I don't know, teacher. <laughs> That's a bit easy. For example, you can say I try to give an example. I try okay. to give an example. <laughs> I try. I will try to be on that on a diet for three days. <laughs> okay, three days is a good a good a good time for me for a diet. <laughs> that is something that I will do. Yeah, <laughs> more than three days, maybe not. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, that would be okay. Um, and this is a little exercise about that one. So what you need to do is to. To tell me which of the somebody has taken my bicycle, I forgot. Yeah, you are going to complete in the blanks with the uh, the ones on the table on the. Okay. Top. I'm gonna give you a few minutes for you to do that one. Okay. 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 I forgot to lock it when I went into the shop. Let's go. I forgot to look it. Teacher, you can uh, send to WhatsApp group, please. I can send that tomorrow. Um, so, have a great holiday, I hope. to come back okay my mom is 65 years old but she is learning to swim at the local, local pool okay
talk about it. We need to say it morning. So we have it. in this year. Okay. Do you need more time for this? Yes, right, a little bit more. Okay. Okay, I'm finished. Okay, has everybody finished or do you need more time? Everybody finished. Has everybody finished? It's only five sentences. Sorry? It's only five sentences. I just don't get it. So what you need to do is just to complete the sentence, right? Sí, sí, si solo son cinco. Es que no sé si es mi pantalla o si hay más abajo. Ah, uh, there are more. Yeah, there are one, two, three, four, five, six. Only, only see five. Uh, you need to move the screen. If you scroll up, you will be able to move the screen. Or I can tell you uh, what it says in the last one. It says, I'm meeting John tonight. Period. We've arranged. That's what it says. I am not able to move my screen because I'm showing full screen. So you need to, to move the screen so you can see that. Okay, so let's check together. First one says, somebody's taking my bicycle. I forgot. Lock it lock, when, I went it when I went into the shop. shop. Perfect, yes. that is the one. So somebody's uh -huh. taking my bicycle. I forgot to lock it when I went, to I the went shop. To, into the shop. Very good. So the next one says, have a great holiday. I hope. To hear all about it when you come back. Very good. I hope to hear all about it when you come back. Nice. The next one says, my mom's 65 years old, but she's learning. Swim at the local pool. I'm sorry? Mm -hmm. to, swim. Swim. to swim at the local pool. Very good. To swim at the local pool. Very nice. The next one says, Bruce didn't have a happy childhood. He prefers. Uh, 
Not to talk, about, talk it. about it. Not to talk about it. Very good. The next one says, we need to save money, so we're agreed. Not to go to skiing. Not to go in skiing this year. <laughs> Not to go skiing this year. And the last one says, I'm meeting John tonight. We've arranged. To have dinner in town. I'm sorry? Have we have arranged to have dinner in town. Very good. To have dinner in town. Yeah. That's the one. Perfect. Do you have <laughs> any question about this? No, it's nice. Good, good. Yes. Uh, I have only a question. On, it was with the verb promise. I promise. I can use it all, also with uh, the clausal that. Yes. yes, I promise that. Uh, yeah, yes, you can use it. Yeah. or no, it, it is wrong. No, it's correct. Yeah, you can say, I promised that I was going to go to the beach with her, for example. So that won't be any okay. Problem. Okay, good. Okay, good. And we have another slide here. So let's see. Uh, um, Edwin, could you please help me read this slide? Okay, okay. Um, some birds are followed by a noun in an infinity with two. She asked him to send her a text messages. He want all his friends to come to his party. His party. A common bird with this morning art. Birds of saying, advise, ask, encourage, invite, order, persuade, remind, Tell, warm. No, the word is normally used with not. The police warned everyone not to drive too fast. Very good. The perfect. police warned everyone not to drive too fast. Okay. So, uh, yeah, here, this is a different part. So you are going to uh, see that we have the verb and then the noun, as we have before, right? And then the infinitive. So it's exactly the same that we had before. So for example, uh, she asked him, so him is the noun, right? To send, that is the infinitive, her a text message. He wanted all his friends to come to his party. So that would be it. And this is very common with verbs of saying, like advise, ask, encourage, invite, order, pursue, Remind, tell, and warn. And warn is almost always going to be with a negative. I warn not to, okay? Remember that since this is infinitive, we are not going to use don't. It's going to be warn not to. So for example, the police warn everyone not to drive too fast. So that will be it. Uh, do you have any question about this? No questions. Clear as or chata. Not no. Uh, all right. Okay, the next one. Uh, let's see who hasn't. Um, Gloria, could you please help me reading this slide? Okay, teacher. Birth of waiting and liking. Hate, intent, like, love, means, prefer, want, will, like, uh, love, others, allow, enable, and enable, expel, force, get, teach. Many of the verbs above are sometimes followed by a by a passive infinite uh, to be ma, to be plus past participle. I expect to be mean to be meet when I arrive at the station. They wanted to be talk if. Anything happening? 
Uh, I don't like. I don't like driving. And I know. I know reading. Okay, I will tell you that one. I don't okay. like driving myself. I prefer to be driven. Okay, I don't. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so uh, this is an interesting one. This is more advanced, advanced grammar, okay? Because yes, we can use with infinitive in any kind of infinitive, but some of those verbs sometimes are used more with a uh, participle. So for example, I expect it to be met, to be met. That is a passive voice, okay? That's why we have here a passive infinitive to be met, to be told, okay, to be driven. So when we have, I, I don't know if you checked that already, when you have the verb to be and a past participle, in this case, that is a passive voice. And it's very common in English and in Spanish. But sometimes when we see the sentences in English, sometimes it's kind of um, strange, it's kind of weird, but it's very, very common, very popular, okay? So we can say that one. So, uh, for example, uh, you can use a verb. The first verb can be in any tense. Most likely it's going to be in simple past. And then to be in the past participle. To be gone, to be eaten, to be uh, received, for example. Some verbs are very, very common now. So do you have any questions about this? Is a question of practice. Yeah. Uh, in English, okay, uh, as I was telling you, um, the first part is to understand, right? The problem is that the sometimes when we're speaking, we sometimes forget that one because, well, you know that in English classes, sometimes we see this only once. I mean, we check this grammar today and that's it, right? So, but if you don't continue practicing on this one, of course, you are not going to use it properly. So it's very important that uh, yes, we understand that one, but also to practice that one. That is very, very important. Okay, do you have any questions on this? No, teacher. No. Very good. Nope. Good. And my friends here, I have the book. So as you know, this is the book that we will be checking uh, for the whole course. In the advance, we don't have a lot of exercises here. It's like different one, right? If you want, you can print it, but I I believe it's not a big usage on this one because we don't have a lot of grammar here. So in the unit one, we are going to uh, learn a little bit more about business meetings. And it says unit one, I will be able to organize a chair an effective business meeting. So do you know what is to chair a meeting? What is that? To I think is to facilitate. Very good. So to chair a meeting, meaning it means that you are going to deliver information, okay. that you are going to handle mm -hmm. everything, right? Very good. Handle to manage the, the meeting. So, uh, do you attend business meetings regularly? Every day. Every day. <laughs> that happens, right? Sometimes, yeah. Uh, sometimes we have a job there in the in the office. That sometimes we have a meeting, so we can schedule a meeting. <laughs> so that's crazy. Right. So uh, how often do you do you have meetings? So in your case, you say every day, but the rest of the people, do you have meetings every day or once a week or twice a week? How is, how is that? In my case, I have a meeting maybe one or two day, and many of these meetings is virtual. Okay, very good. Yeah, sometimes yes. it's, very, it's very easy because in virtual meetings, I mean, you are able to speak with people in different departments or in different countries, and it's going to be very good. Another thing that I really like about a 
of virtual meetings is that you can record the meeting. So if you don't remember or you are not sure about something, you can go and watch the record. You need to make a how do you say acta? Uh, that is the minutes. Huh? Okay. Uh, well, in the in the company, we need make a minute all meeting. When that, is uh, when is uh, if many department? So true. If yeah. you have a meeting with a client, it's not necessary. Definitely. So yeah, whenever you. The thing is that the purpose of the meeting is to decide something or to deliver information, right? So, and then the minutes are for that one, for you to say, okay, uh, this is the agreement that we have, or you have to do this and I have to do these other things, right? It's very, very important. Okay, how quick is it for the ones in the meetings to get down to business? Ah, that is a very nice question. What do you think? How quick... Is it for the ones in the meeting to get down to business? What do you think? You know, if it is, it depends on uh, the person that is chairing the, the meeting because you need to organize it to manage the, the meeting with an exact uh, agenda. Agenda is the right word? Agenda, yeah. That yes, be. with an agenda, because if you do not have an agenda, you can start, you know, speaking uh, about a lot of topics and not coming to the point and not go down to the business. You know, it is very important for the chair, the person. Very good. Actually, that is something that we're going to check here in the class that you, I mean, there are many things that you have to do before the meeting, during the meeting, and after the meetings, right? So that is a must if you want to run a meeting effectively, of course, right? So, and the what other, you say. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, teacher. And the other point that when you define the specific time for a meeting, is part of the respect of the public because the the each uh, employee we have the specific activities in in the job very uh, true. in our schedule in our job it's very important to program anticipate and the Agenda is, is key, and in my opinion, is very important for to get down to the business. So true. That is so true. It's, it's very important. So, uh, and sometimes you have to say that one. I mean, so it depending on the the purpose of the meeting, uh, we are going to respect everybody's opinion because that is important. And the time that you are going to speak, many things are relevant to this. Okay, uh, what are three reasons you consider business meetings are essential for a unit to be productive? What do you think? You know, I, I think uh, a meeting is, is a tool for teamwork. It is a tool for good communication. Um, it is a very important tool for the leadership to uh, support the team accomplishing uh, objectives and then it is it is really a, a, a good a very good tool if you can handle it very good so yes there are many many important things i mean and uh, we are going to check that through this week okay so as you can see the name of this one is business meeting so definitely what we're going to do is to run a business meeting uh probably we're going to work in groups i'm going to assign you something some tasks and then you are going to run a business meeting on friday so that will be the homework for this friday but i'm going to give you more details during the week okay tuesday and wednesday so you are ready for friday 
Uh, are most business meetings a waste of time? What do you think about that one? That is a very good question. Sometimes. <laughs> you are right. If you if you don't if you do not have plan it with objective with uh, indicators then for for the effort of the meeting you know you can get lost. Yes, it's important to have the good structure in during the meeting because. Uh, in the final, um, it's necessary to a good conclusion. In the conclusion is necessary to achieve the goal, the objective of the meeting. Very good, perfect. Thank you. And Susana, Carolina, you want to say something? Yes, um, I don't know what is I mean. Waste. I don't remember. I waste. Know. Waste is when you don't take advantage of something. Uh, when you, for example, when you say I waste my time, it's like I, I didn't do anything. I mean, I, I had some other things to do and because of the meeting, I I, I mean, I didn't advance in my things. So something when you like, lost the time. Exactly. It's something like that. Okay, so, thank you. So you can waste time, you can waste resources, you can waste money. Things like that. Okay, and I, yeah, I totally agree. Some meetings sometimes, I mean, that happens to us sometimes. Uh, I sometimes in LA, I have five meetings, six meetings, and there are one or two meetings that are like not relevant or uh, we don't do. I mean, for example, you know that sometimes in the meetings they say, Gloria, you are going to do this for next Monday. And in the meeting of the Monday, if Laura comes and says, oh, I didn't have the time to do this, then we cannot move on, right? So many things are involved in this thing. Because, uh, you can relation the sentence with the question, the, the sentence number two. Uh, yeah. Because sometimes you need many meetings for the people understand what is they need to do. Very good. So that is it. And that's why sometimes people, they don't get down to business, right? Sometimes, well, for in El Salvador in general, sometimes it's difficult for us to go and do the things right away, depending on the situation, of course. But uh, yes, I mean, when you finish a meeting, sometimes you have to go and change things or do things uh, that the meeting was about, right? So that is a very, very important thing. Have you ever chaired a business meeting? Anybody? Have you ever chaired a business meeting? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. So it seems that whenever we are speaking about that specifically, we're going to listen to you. And some words, an agenda, as we discussed that before. What is an agenda? If it express the other assistance. Is, yeah, the, tool, other... is the tool which gives a structure to the meeting. Very good. Yeah, it's the structure, right? So, for example, uh, I mean, when you have a meeting, of course, you want to discuss certain topics uh -huh. and, and discuss who is going to do what or other thing, many things. So the agenda is that one. What we're going to discuss, how much time we're going to spend discussing that one, and what we need to achieve. What we need to achieve. Good. Action points. What are the action points? Did you agree? Yeah, so when you have the agenda, for example, you have to agree on some things or to design, to assign an activity to certain people or the point, mm -hmm. right? So 
Those are the action points. You are going to do this, or we are going yeah. to do this in and this way. Do this. Uh -huh. Good. Minutes. Do you remember what are the minutes? Yes. The minutes is the tool where uh, uh, where you relate you relate what's happened during the meeting. Very good. So it's the email okay, that note. you send, right? So we discussed this and we yes. agreed on this one. For this and there are the action the points. Summary of agreements. For Very the good. Summary of taken, agreements. Taken of the, during the meeting. Very good. It's like a wrap up or the description of what we discussed, what are the action points, what we agreed. Nice. And the last one says decision making process. What is yes. that? Uh, who is the people make this action maybe very good so sometimes remember that depending on the on the company that you work or the department sometimes we have to uh, to say oh we need to ask this to other department right we need to uh, to check how it's going to be the process on that one so it's not only to take action sometimes we need to wait and we need to say oh we need to ask or have another meeting right <laughs> with the other department so we can decide how it's going to be everything done. Very good. Uh -huh. Okay, we are not going to watch the video today, but there are just a few more. Chair a meeting. We discussed that one. Do you remember what is the chair meeting? Panda. Yeah, when you direct, when you are to managing. facilitate. Very good. Yes. Call off a meeting. What is called off a meeting? Call off. We call off a meeting. What is that? Okay, call off a meeting is when you say, okay, my friends, it's time. The time has arrived and we have to finish. Uh, ah, call off. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if we have some extra points, we're going to discuss that in the next meeting. Or I can send you an email with the extra points or any other thing. To finish the meeting, to finish, call off a meeting, to finish the meeting. Okay. That is it. Very good. The next one is an important one. Deadline. What is a deadline? The term of the the time. Yeah, it's the specified Day. time Day when you. Uh, I'm sorry. Yes. Go ahead. On a specific time. Okay. This is the deadline. Okay. Yeah, yeah. When you have to achieve something, right? To achieve something. Yeah. Very good. Move forward. What is to move forward? When it's necessary to change the meeting, maybe for the other date. Oh, that happens a lot. So sometimes people, they start speaking about many other things and you yeah. say, okay, let's stop and continue with the meeting. Yeah, yeah. Move forward. Yeah, move forward. All right. Okay, so very good. So this was the starting point of these classes. You see that we have moved very, very fast. Very nice. Do you have any questions about the class of tonight? Okay, and then at this point, uh, we are obligated to make the homework at this point? Exactly. So we finished the class number one, and now we have to do the homework. The homework is... Let you me... pretend that I'm going to bed at <laughs> 10 <Okay. 15. laughs> Well, it has to be done tonight or tomorrow before the class. Ah, okay. It so, sounds better. It sounds better. The recommendation is after the class because you just finish the class and then you say, oh, I know how to do this. But, I mean, if you do it before the class, if you have more time tomorrow, not a problem. But what is important okay. is, to, is to, uh, to go on time with homeboys, right? Because remember that at some point, I mean, every, every Saturday in the morning, I send the, the grades. Uh, to in support. Okay. So it's important that on Friday, the first five homeworks has to be done. 
Okay. Uh, okay. This is the rule. That Fine. Is, yeah, that would be. Perfect. Uh, let me then just check the attendance. I can't see. I can't see myself doing homework now. <laughs> okay. Good. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, it's open. The only thing is that we need to move forward, right? We we'll move forward. Okay. Good. So let's check the attendance. Ada, Patricia, Linares, Galdames. Present. Good. Adriana, Stephanie, Martinez, Flores. Alejandra Michelle Hueso Najera. Present. Good. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Good. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Good. Maybe Coromoto Garcia de Calderón. Present. Good. Manuel Antonio Palma. Present. Good. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Present. Good. Mario Ernesto Vicheda. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Good. Silvio Suleima Rodríguez de González. Present. Good. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good night. Good night. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present, teacher. Perfect. So, my friends. It was amazing to see you again, to be here with you, and of course, see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Dream in English. Good night. Thank you. Good to Hello, Ada. How are you? Hello, Ada. Can you hear me? Ah, okay, teacher. How are you? That's fine, teacher. Fine, nice. fine. Nice to see you again. Yes, teacher. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Okay? <laughs> yeah. So very nice that you and your sister you're still here in the group. So that is very good. Yes. Um. Uh, oh, um. I try to speak English, and I will not teach. I still not. I still not. Um. Speak. But I try in my case. Of course, that's the, that's the way it is. I mean, I know that there are many things. I mean, uh, sometimes we have the world, sometimes the family, and many other things. But if you continue practicing, I mean, you are going to learn. So even remember that you are in the advanced three, and very soon you are going to finish the classes. So when you finish, you need to continue also. But in this moment, teacher, um, I have, I, I try and homework the platform, but in the first activities, I do not um, enviar. I haven't sent. I haven't sent, not. Uh, but do you have questions about that one or anything? No, no teacher. Uh, all, all the question answered and no said. Yeah. Uh, so, um, I just don't get what you say. So you didn't do the homework, or you you have incorrect answers. 
eh, rapidito, o sea, nunca había tenido problemas al respecto, aunque yo estoy intentar, 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 siempre me ha mandado el, el, el enviar, pero en este momento no me... Okay, let me just check here, hold on a second. Let me just do it very fast here. Mm, that's very strange. Let me show you here. Okay, this is the one, right? Yes. Okay, uh, and you have all the answers. Yes. And you don't see the option here that is a send. The blue option? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's strange. Okay, uh, my recommendation, uh, you are doing this in the cell phone or in the computer? In the computer, the platform, but okay. in the Zoom, uh, Zoom in the cell phone. Okay, so my recommendation for you is to log out from the platform, log back in and check if that is working. Okay, check, uh, check also if all the answers are taken. Sometimes if one is not taken, it's not going to allow you to send it. So check on that. And if it's not working, chat with me and we are going to check into that. Okay, yes. But I, I never um, have the problem and, and the platform is me first. Okay, yeah, I, I understand. So let's give it a try on that one and see how it goes, okay? Um, okay. Do you have any questions about anything in the class or uh, in English? Uh, no, teacher, no. Um, uh, I try to uh, remember um, pronouns, pronouns and entender. And understand understand all others your class of course of course uh yeah i mean if you have questions remember that you can ask and i know that i mean if you don't have classes for five months i know that it's difficult i know yes. but this week is going to be like that for friday you will see that everything will be fine okay yes teacher. Okay, perfect. So, Ada, it was a pleasure to see you. See you tomorrow and have a good night. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye now. Bye.